Message for the motherfuckers in the energy field. The point is your fucking ass is inside my house. You can enter people's house. They're fucking in the bedroom. They can't see the monster that is waiting just to make a picture. You know, someone drop down, give them a CPR. <laughs> no, have sex! Be the body, your body. And give them a CPR when they're about to drop dead over there. Because they want to come in your body. You know, someone is living alone. Just go to the perfect place. You will meet somebody. You never know. They look you in your eyes. And now you are in love. Bring them home. You're talking about having children. You're exchanging key. Amazing. When they come to you. In your house. In your bedroom. Just the two of you, but you don't see the number three. It takes two to make one. They come to you, they love you. But they sleep in another woman's stomach. When they're little, they love mama. You want to church them? Mama, mama, mama. And when they become 30 years, they're looking for another mama. You know they're looking for that young the mama when she was young. Thirty years later, mama look too old for their eyes. Now they're looking for girlfriend. They call it I love you. In every house there is energy watching you when you're having sex. Watching you what you're doing. My body, what you take away, my children, this is my dead body. When they're 20, 30 years old, when they are officially can have sex, and officially masturbation, I never can hear it. They will never tell me when they give an orgasm. But the minute they're not feeling well, Mama, I'm not feeling well. And now it's my concern. When the energy is busy with their body in the pleasure, it's nobody's business. What I said the last time, when people are making love inside their house, they're having sex, they never show us on the TV. When they left the body of their dead body they get out, it's breaking news. Someone's child died. My son supposed to call me 8 o'clock. My telephone, the battery is dead. I'm looking, the clock is 9 o'clock now in Holland. I check my telephone, it is out. And I take my other telephone, I call where my son is. The woman say, he called me four times. I say, can I talk to him? She said, okay. The point is, if I don't notice it, that my telephone was out, my son, the dead buddy, the one with the CD, he's going to sleep. Before he sleeps, he's thinking, I want to talk to my mother. She didn't pick up. But when he falls asleep, he forget everything. When he wake up tomorrow morning, he can think about it again. He's the CD that downloads the moment. The energy that use him to call me. And the same energy turned my phone off, telling me my battery is finished. If you understand the telephone, we never turn off by itself. It takes a creature on the other side who creates the telephone to tell you your battery is finished. To tell you your credit is finished in the telephone. Well, luckily, I could talk to my son so he hear my voice before his dead body is going to sleep in the graveyard. Don't worry, the energy inside his body is going to another city. So then when I go to the shop, I'm watching the people. 
everybody's taking their own food everybody's dressing and showing up I'm like wow they're all dead people they all all the people who are taking a walk they're all dead people I'm watching like wow in the night energy go away they cannot go in the shop energy is going to the next town where there is where there is daylight and those people who were sleeping they are dressing up going to the shops why is the people over here they cannot go to the shop because they have no energy inside of them if the people only understand just because of their children grow up to be 40 years they forget 40 years ago one year before they have them the body used to be inside of them just because they developed the body and pull it out and their children is now 40 years old. When they're sleeping in their bedroom, they just see they look different. The one woman become the boy. The one woman become the girl. She look next to her. Oh, that's my daughter. She's now 40 years old. Well, when she's sleeping in the night and you're sleeping, there's no two of you. It's just one. If you put her back inside of you, when you grow in, you grow in with her inside of you. If you get her out, now you look like two people. But it's the same day, it's the same way. One day, the same energy that came to swell your stomach, make you become two, driving with your body only in the daytime. I mean, only reason why people can get in the car to go to a disco in the night it's because tomorrow they're going to be sleeping in the afternoon. If you're never going to disco Tuesday, because you know you have to go to your workplace the next day, you have to sleep in the night. It's the same way. The only reason why you can go out Saturday, because you know Sunday you're going to be sleeping. If you understand, American disco, when it's 6 o'clock in Holland, it is 12 o'clock in America. They go into a disco when the Dutch people come in home to sleep. 12 o'clock in the night in America, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. The discos are closed here. When it's 12 o'clock in the night in Holland, Hong Kong, the disco just closed. They are in the disco when the people are still busy in the house. I mean, if all of you not go into the disco at the same time, the other one going to be sleeping. Who is going to the discos? Who is in the disco in Hong Kong? Who is in the disco in America? Who is in the disco in Holland? If the discos is exactly six, six hours apart, one disco is closed and the next one is open. If it's not the same energy moving from one state to the next, Inside my house, I have energies. You know, when you're walking, you're talking to yourself inside your house, people thinking you're crazy. Well, the only thing you need, call somebody you see talking to themselves over there. He's a man, but he's actually a she that become a man. Call him. He live alone, he talk to himself. I live alone, I talk to myself. I call him over here. The two of us in the house, we have sex 10 years. We have a lot of babies in there. Please tell me. If we're talking to ourselves and now we have sex, we get bodies out of us. In the same house, the door is closed. Nobody come in. Just me and this guy who talk to ourselves. We have food in the house. I have a lot of babies in the 10 years. If the baby can stand there and talk to us, who is inside of us when we're talking to ourselves? For as long as they can take them out of the house and bring them to the little people city, you will never figure it out and you don't care, but I care. You know, don't mind me. At least I have a place to download my thoughts in my mind. And I can play back. You don't have to put it in a big place. Because 
if my father's dick is not the same dick as the other fathers over there, my thinking in my mind should not be the thinking of the children they make over there. But at least I have a fresh ear knowing I don't have to wait for Jesus Christ to come because I know the world is just fucking shit. The motherfucker is only using everybody. But they use me this far. I'm awake. This time I'm in charge of the ball I'm kicking. They don't stress me because they want me to give an orgasm. They stress me because they don't want me to give it so much. They want it, but they want it less. I say I'm going for 007. I hope there are people out there who join me in the war. Because you don't get stressed. They don't keep you apart because they want you to make love. They keep you apart because they know when the two of you connect together, you can build a whole body they can control. And when you don't join together, your orgasm alone is kicking the motherfuckers in the ass. They tell you, you need money from them. Well, they're going to babysit you till the day they take your fresh air out. They fix it to somebody else. When I look at the people in the shop, I was thinking like, wow. If one of these people drop dead, and they are about 30 years of age or 40 years, there are a lot of 30 years of age, 40 years in the hospital waiting for NIG to take a walk. They make this one drop dead, they send them to the graveyard, and they let the one who is waiting in the hospital take a walk. They, you never see them in the street. Now they tell you they feel better. It's a miracle. No. They know the one who is lying in the, in the hospital when they get... Don't send me double wind. They know the one who is lying in the hospital is giving masturbation. They know this one over here have too much stress. One last thing. I saw a video, a cam trail video, two days ago. Somebody is tapping, showing what the government is doing, tapping in the sky. Well, we see birds are falling down. People take a look what's going on here. Well, if we see something happen, we know exactly what make the birds die. Do you think they want people like that? They can't wait to build a baby body to take their wind and fix it there. They want ignorant people. They want people who don't have a voice. They don't want people to strike. They want people who just going to sit back and just watch. Like I said the last time, if you watch the special school, it is not there for nothing. It is there to control mankind. It is there. They have the ones that's going to kiss up to them. And the rest that is not going to kiss up to them, they're going to use them when they want to use them. And when they reach to the certain stage, when they don't give them a job, they just have to shut up and don't strike outside and don't make trouble because they're getting sick of floating the city away. To the positive people in YouTube, hey, they can tell you you're ignorant, but they can never erase your CD. No matter how rude I am sometimes, no matter how ignorant I am sometimes, most of you are not the same anymore. Nobody can tell you about Buddha or Jesus or Prophet Muhammad ever again. At least you know the day your mother died, you know they just changed body. For as long as you can keep that in your mind and understand, before you see their face, they just arrived just like you. If the two people in the bedroom, it was only the two of them. And nine months later, the two of them in the bedroom and the stomach of the woman just swell up. Nine months later, there is this monster coming out. We call them a baby, no. If nine months before, when you're taking a walk, there is nobody there. Nine months before, when your husband dropped the spam, there is nobody there. Who came to swell your stomach? And when the baby is coming out, you say, I don't want it to come out now. The baby say, open your leg, I'm coming out now. If even you want the baby to stay in, the baby is coming out, is coming out. Are you in charge? Good night.